it's Around Town with Mandy, and I'm sure you've heard or seen on social media that the Queen Anne's County Fair, as we know it, has been canceled. I met right out to the 4-H Park with the fair chairman himself, J.R. Skinner, to discuss the hard decision that was made to cancel the fair, but how some wonderful things are going to be put into place to make the fair, new as we know it, happen in 2020. We are very saddened and, and upset and, and very apologetic that we did have to cancel the, the, the fair as it is, um, as you see it every year. Um, we, can't, we can't have all the vendors and the rides and all that kind of stuff. We are trying to work on having the shows. We love our 4-H'ers. You know, we are going to do everything possible for them to, uh, to be able to have our shows and uh, go from there. With this year, um, we have been in contact with all the officials in the county, with uh, the health department, um, county commissioners, and we're still in contact with all of them. And um, the, the board came to the decision to, to go ahead and cancel because there are so many people involved and we want to keep everybody safe. You know, we, we talk with the health officials and they don't see this social distancing going away anytime soon. And um, we don't want to risk anybody getting COVID down here. So behind the scenes, um, the board, we're doing everything possible to make sure that these kids indoor, livestock, outdoor, that are taken care of in some way. We're trying to come up with a new norm, I guess that's the word for COVID-19. Yeah, um, yeah to, to make sure that they're able to sell their livestock. Yes. Or the indoor exhibit kids that aren't doing livestock mm -hmm. maybe could get a little incentive, something in the mail or something just to thank them for putting their efforts into their 4-H projects. Yes, we, we, are, we are working on, we have a couple different options. Um, we have to get to, the, the state has to get to phase two um, for us to be able to, what I call trailer in, trailer out uh, shows. You come in the morning, you show during the day, you go home. Um, but we have to be in phase two to do that. Um, also, our health department has to clear us to be able to do that. Yes. Uh, this park is owned by the county. That means the county commissioners own this park. So it has to be cleared by all of them for us to be able to do that. So that's, that's our first option. We want to have the trailer in, trailer out shows. And also with the indoor kids, the indoor exhibits, they would come they, you know, those days, drop their things off, um, we would be able to have a couple of judges in there at one time and they could judge stuff so they could still because we have we have many kids that's right. all they do yeah. is, is the indoor. Um, so then if we can't do that we're going to move on to the virtual the virtual shows. Um, I know everybody would rather show you know live at shows that's what everybody who, works who wouldn't want to be live right? right exactly right and um, but uh, um, so the virtual, uh, the Queens County Fair Board is investing uh, around $7,500 in the virtual programs because we have to upgrade our show works program um, that take care of all our entries and yeah. and it's a lot uh, of behind the scenes. Yeah, and um, and to upgrade that, we also to be able to have this happen, we have to upgrade our computers. So we got to buy three new computers too. Yeah. So, so the group decided to go ahead and spend that money and get that done in case we have to do the virtual shows. Um, so uh, one way or another, the kids are going to be able to, to, to showcase their projects. Definitely. And, and that's uh, what it's about. That's, yeah. When it comes down yeah. to it, the kids are what make this mm -hmm. fair, you know, that's, it, that's, that's the bread and butter. Yeah, the, the bread and butter of the fair. I know everybody comes down, the public comes down, and they see this great big production that we have down here. Well. Go back years back. The fair is about the kids coming and showing their animals and showcasing their projects yes. that they've worked on all year. Um, oh, here comes the rain. <laughs> <laughs> now it's gonna rain. Yeah, yeah. We had to come in because of the rain. <laughs> you know, our goal is to do the best that we can. You know, the 4-H motto is to make the best better. So mm -hmm. our goal is to come at it this year, make the best at what we have to work with. Yes. And come back better next year in 2021. Yes, so we they we got big plans and then we roll everything over to next year for 2021. Um, you know, the, the, I want to say that it was not easy for the the fair board to make this decision. 
it's, if anybody wants to have the fair more than anybody, it's the fair. Oh, yeah. Um, we, we put in time and effort all volunteers. year long. Yeah, we're all volunteers. Nobody gets paid to do anything for this fair. Um, so, you know, we, we were, you know, we were devastated that we had to make this decision. But it's bigger than we are because it comes down from University, University. of Maryland, Maryland Extension. Um, it comes from the state. You know, we have to abide by Governor Hogan's um, phases and, and what he has set in place. Yes. Um, we can't come out here and just have the fair like we usually would and, um, and have them come out in the middle of the fair and shut us down. Right. Um, what would happen if that happened was um, Maryland Extension uh, could pull our 4-H organization out of here and we wouldn't have 4-H. Yeah, and we're a large 4-H yeah, organization. We're one of the largest on the Eastern Shore. And uh, so we have to protect that. And um, so, so, you know, having to do all that and also with all the vendors and all the people, we wanted to go ahead and get it done so they can make plans with what they have to do. Right. Um, and we the, can move forward with putting yes, effort for the kids. We can move forward putting effort for the kids and, and doing something for them. Um, example, you know, the day after we canceled it, the first phone call, one of the first phone calls I got was um, from uh, Roy Shaw, the, the amusements with the rides. He called me and said, hey, I heard what's going on. And um, I said, dang, you didn't give me time to call you. So, um, and he was very appreciative of, of knowing now so he can right. plan for for future. Me as chairman, my job is to look out for everybody that's involved with the fair. I can't just focus on just my family. I focus on every family that's there, and the board does too. Right. Um, we, I, I will tell you, we have one of the best boards. Everybody does their job, and we are like a fine machine. Everybody does their job, and it all comes together great. I couldn't ask for any more anything better than uh, the board that we have and um, and you know, they're there all the time to, to you know anything I ask or anybody asks they're there to help and and uh, you know we just want to keep everybody safe, safe. and stay yeah. stay within the guidelines because because we don't want to get in trouble we don't want the 4-H program to get in trouble and uh, you know and get a shutdown right. and not be able to because because if we had it this year and just did our own thing we're in jeopardy of next year. And unfortunately this year, those specific things that are being asked can't be put into place to keep our yes. county safe. Right. And also, um, regardless of what we do with the shows, whether it's if we can do the live shows or virtual, regardless, we are going to have an online auction, livestock, uh, livestock auction for the kids. So their animals will be sold. So our, keep an update because, yeah. you know, we'll be willing yep. to put out we'll something. We'll keep updating everything, and our livestock chairmen are, are on it right now to make that uh, online Follow online. our Facebook page. We'll keep mm -hmm. things updated yep. on there. Yeah, follow the Queens County 4-H uh, Fair page and, and, you know, any social media. It'll be up. And, well, thanks uh, for coming out, so. and I look forward to to new things coming this year, but next year we're going to be bigger and better than ever. Oh yeah, we're going to come back strong next year. We'll, we'll probably have even more exhibitors out here next year. So uh, we're looking forward to it next year, and um, I can't wait to get started for the next year. Sounds good. Well, so. looks like we'll meet on a normal, but in October they better look out. We're coming in guns yep. blazing. and we're yep. ready. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready to go. Sounds good. Thanks, Jared. All right, thanks, Manny. So there you have it firsthand. But thanks for watching and stay tuned and keep watching and follow the fair's Facebook page and their social media and their online site because there's more things to come.